Hello you guys, it is Katrina here. Don't mind me, I just woke up. I kid you not, I, it's been a long, like, three days. I guess I'll just kind of like update you guys because this is the whole video surround dealio thing. Well, I went live and I talked about the snake that I wanted to get. I was looking at the wrong snake. So what ended up happening was I realized that when I ordered this snake, there was no cancellation, there was no this, there was no that. So I realized I fucked up. That morning, because I once I realized I picked the wrong snake that I was looking at, like literally I told you guys I wanted a Texas rat snake. A lutistic. Yeah, let me just say. It was not a lutistic rat snake of what I was wanting. I was wanting a lutistic, um, basically a BEL python. So it was a python, not a rat snake. So that morning when I made that order, they did end up canceling it, even though it said no exceptions on cancellations, because they were trying to charge me an extra $21 for a vet certificate. Which, I mean, isn't a bad thing. It's just, like, if that was included, that should have been one of the first things to be included with the snake. Like, not just, like, pay extra for something that you had no clue that you had to pay for. So I was like, go ahead and cancel it. They canceled it, refunded me. Everything was good. So then I was looking around, right, for the crack snake. And I just kept seeing, like, anything, like, over the 200. So basically... I had like a $220 limit on a snake, not including shipping. It has to include shipping for that much. And I wasn't finding anything until I just like was scrolling through Google and I ended up finding somewhere where they were doing Black Friday sales on snake. I ended up finding a female BEL python for $140. Yeah. And usually the females cost more. I don't really have a reason towards that, probably because they have they lay eggs. Like that's the only reason I can come up with. Instead of going with the rat snake, I buy this pipe bomb. And I'm super excited, right? They say it's like 24 hour shipping, it's like overnight shipping in the morning, go pick it up. What's well, not? So basically I'm in Ohio and they have this policy thing where like they won't deliver to your house if the temperature is under like 40 degrees and Ohio has been in like the 40s and 30s. They decided that Mansfield would be like the closest. They just needed my approval on that. And I was like, sure, I'll go to Mansfield and pick up a snake from FedEx. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm trying to clean out the old spider bin, like the wild caught spider bin. See about making this a potential like travel thing because let me just tell you, FedEx has been horrible to this fucking snake as far as packaging goes. Or not packaging, but shipping goes. That snake has been in that shipping box for like over 24 hours now. And so I am very concerned that tomorrow I'm going to go up to Mansfield, that FedEx that they have her up. She's in Cleveland right now, so I know FedEx done fucked up somewhere. But I'm just scared I'm gonna like go up the FedEx, open up the thing, and she's going to be dead. Like that's what I am very afraid of right now because uh, this would be my first ever snake. Like imagine this. You want to go into like having snakes and you want your experience to be great. You get shipped a snake and the snake is fucking dead. That memory would haunt me forever, like probably for the rest of my fucking life. Like the one time I go and I buy my first snake, never owned the snake ever. And it just ends up fucking dead. I mean, she ain't supposed to be in Cleveland, Ohio. If anyone knows anything about Ohio, Cleveland, Ohio, and Mansfield, Ohio, um, pretty far from each other. And considering she was stuck in Tennessee for like 12 hours, over 12 hours, basically, um, yeah. How the fuck did we get to Cleveland and miss Mansfield, Ohio? It just doesn't make sense. I think what I am going to do tomorrow when I go up there is I'm going to file a claim with them as far as the whole, like, you know, overnight shipping dealio. Because I paid for overnight shipping. Overnight shipping was like $60. So... 
yeah I'm, I'm just not a happy camper right now because i'm really terrified i'm about to receive a dead ass snake because i'm gonna vlog this this is basically like the beginning of the vlog so um what i was thinking is literally when i go up there and like sign for her and put her in the car open her up I know that there's going to be like a zip tie on the back. I've basically been doing a lot of research about this company and like unboxing videos. So I know they're going to have a zip tie on the bag. So I need to bring up a pair of scissors. I'm hoping I could just like grab her out of the bag and she will be fine. She's probably starving. Like, I don't know when the last time they fed her was, but I know she's got to be hungry. Like, I don't know if they put holes in that box. I assume they do, but from what I've been seeing that like reviews wise on youtube is that they have her like imagine a regular like shipping box and then they have styrofoam basically all around her so i mean unless the styrofoam has like holes which i assume they do I i'm so worried like i am so so worried right now but i got around to making her enclosure it's nothing fancy it's just kind of like a basic setup she's got a high she's got a water dish and then, like, I have mice. I don't know if she's eating mice just yet. She might just be eating pinkies. So yeah, this will be where the snake is going as soon as I get her, go and pick her up in the morning. Um, since she's in Cleveland, I'm gonna assume she's going to be there by like nine in the morning. That's when FedEx opens. So I'm just gonna go there first thing in the morning. Um, that was supposed to be the plan today, but FedEx wanted to keep her ass in Tennessee, so. And then this is the lid. I literally just drill, drilled some more holes into it because I'm like, I, I know she's gonna be like so grateful to be out and breathing. I just wanna make sure I have enough holes for her to breathe. So this is not her permanent home. This is just for her to be in for the car ride. So that way she is good. She can move around a little bit. I'm considerate when it comes to animals, especially ones that's being shipped. This is the second time I've ever had animals shipped. The first time it was fish and they were dead. <laughs> and the company was like, oh, we don't have no proof of this. We didn't receive no pictures of you opening the package. So it could be just dead fish. Never got refunded for that. It was kind of a shitty situation. But I voiced my concerns with this company that shipped the snake. It's not their doing, it's literally just FedEx. And they're like, if you have any issues tomorrow when you go and get her, let us know and we will try to fix it for you. So I don't know what that means. I don't know if they have a backup snake for me just in case. And if they're just gonna cover everything, like, I don't know. I was kind of jumping in on my impulsive decision making when it came to this, but now I'm like, I really want her. I really want her. I really fucking want her. So basically she's all white with blue eyes. I don't know if anyone's ever seen an all white with blue eyes snake, but that's what a bell python is. Basically, it bell just means blue eyed Lucy. I'm gonna go ahead and let you, excuse me. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go. For now, I will record in the morning. Let's hope and pray I don't have a dead snake. Let's hope and pray, cause I just, I don't think I could take it. It's th It's almost Thanksgiving. Like, literally in two days, it will be Thanksgiving. I have nothing to be thankful for. Yeah, I'm thankful for my dead snake. The fuck? <laughs> so, I'll see you guys here in a couple minutes. Well, yeah, it'll be a couple minutes for you guys. But for me, it'll be in a couple hours. So, see you guys soon. Good morning, you guys. Literally, I just, like, woke up. I want to say like a half an hour ago I'm just kind of been chilling in bed texting my boyfriend and keeping up on the data with the snake I think I found, found out like what FedEx problem is as far as this whole shipping thing goes nobody's signing her out I checked literally like when I woke up to see if there was any updates um, and it said she was still in Cleveland and then literally like five minutes before I mean it's eight o'clock right now five minutes before eight it said she was automatically in Mansfield. So she's there, she's there. We're gonna go get her. I am definitely like, like I said before, when I am there, I'm definitely gonna file a claim with this shit because this is just not okay. The whole signing her out thing is just not okay because it messes the person up who's tracking her. 
I get it, like Black Friday is in like two days, literally. But this is how things get lost. So I don't know if she's alive or dead. I had a nightmare about her being fucking dead. Basically, for some weird reason, I was in a Walmart. I don't really want to get too much into the dream, but I was in a Walmart and I told them about like my package, like not being where it's supposed to be. And they're like, um, I hate to say this, but I would prepare for the worst at this point. So, I don't want to prepare for the worst. I really don't. But at the same time, I'm worried. That's my kitty. <laughs> it might not be till like 10 o'clock or something because it takes a minute to get from um, Mansfield from Cleveland. So, I don't know what he's doing, you guys. What are you doing? That's Snowball. Technically, his tag says Snowflake because that's what I wanted to name him. And then he's got his balls, so we call him Snowball. <laughs> he's all white. But yeah, I'm going to get ready and I will see you guys in the car. Hey guys, so we made it. Um, I'm about to go in. Uh, I will be back in a minute with her. We'll open her up right here in the car. So see you guys in like a minute. Okay, so I have the box. Fuck. Ignore that. I don't know where to put this phone so that way it won't move. Um. I guess we will try that, but I have the box. I don't see any holes in here, so... I'm actually kind of worried. I brought scissors. Yeah, I was like talking to a lady. I was just like, I kind of want to make a claim too because this was supposed to be like overnight shipping and like they had her ass stuck in Tennessee and she's like, oh, I hope everything's okay. So she's like, you got to call the 1-800 number in order to make a claim. So I'm like, okay. Uh, 1122 live mouse so little card some stuff I'm trying not to move around too much so that way this doesn't like bro what the fuck is that oh that's a heating pad <laughs> I seen something brown and I'm like what the hell is that it's warm. Hello, are you alive in here? Oh, she feels cold. She feels cold. I'm not feeling anything. I hope she's not dead. I put her on my lap, try to warm her up. The heating pad is on top, but she just feels fucking cold. Look at this shit. I hope she's not dead. I don't think she is, though. I have a hunch. How the hell am I supposed to get to your ass? Oh! I'm sorry. That was a little rough. <laughs> Hello. She's in like a ball. Is she dead? Oh, she's not dead. Hi, baby. Oh, you are so cold. Hi. So, she's all right. She is very cold though. She's pretty. Hey baby, you poor thing. You're probably so cold. You're so cold, huh? Okay, I'm gonna flip the camera. Here's her in my lap. 
Let's see if I can get my camera to focus for you guys. But she feels weird. I've never actually held a snake before, so this is different. She got the blue eyes. <sighs> she is so cold. I can't get my camera to focus. There we go. She's all right, she's alive, she's just so fucking cold. That's better. Oh, her eyes are so pretty. My poor baby. So, I'm gonna turn on the heat. I don't even think I honestly wanna put her in there just because there's no heat coming from that. I think I'm just gonna drive with her on my lap because I'm just extremely scared, but um, without showing my address and everything, this is what she is. Female, 140, like I was telling you guys, literally Black Friday sale. Oh, I'm so sorry, baby. Yeah, she's fucking freezing. Like, she's not even, like, body temperature like normal body temperature. I'm gonna turn on the, the car. Let's see if I can warm her up. Yeah, that's not okay. Like, she feels like she was purely outside and outside is 36 degrees. Like I have her in my lap and I'm like, this is fucking cold. That's not cool. I'm so sorry. Hey guys, so I just made it back with her. Um, she's a really good snake. Literally, I had her like in my lap the entire time. I did have to stop and get gas, so I put her in that little bin that I showed you guys before. And um, she kind of got the time to like stretch out and everything like that. Right now, she's actually in her tank and I'm waiting on a light to charge so that way I can like keep an eye on her and everything but just to kind of give you guys a reference of what her enclosure looks like currently there's going to be a lot more in there it's just not right now <laughs> so there she is oh look she's stretching out she's stretching out yeah there she goes what's it doing so yeah, she's doing really well. Um, she definitely needs some time to stretch after being in a ball for a period of time. These are the lights I'm gonna use. I got one charging. That and she needs a heating pad to stay warm, but I'm hoping if I just keep the temperature up a little bit more in the house, it ain't gonna hurt nobody, but try to keep her warm. Can I have a snack at the so just an overview on what she was packaged in. I do want to show you guys, there is no, I mean, there's a hole right there, but there's legit, like, no holes in this bitch. But here's the heating pack. It's cold now, but she was literally pack packaged like that. I'll take this off, heating pack. Stuffing, 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 and she's literally in a bag. So, I can't say I will be doing this again because I just, I don't feel like this is right. I mean, I'm shocked that she was even still alive considering how much shit was packed in here. But, she's good. I'll be sure to keep you guys updated on how she's doing, um, but until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.